In this example, I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents. But in order for InDesign to create a table of contents, you need to have created your paragraph styles properly and applied them properly. So the two paragraph styles that you generally should create for a table of contents is a heading called whatever you like, but usually heading and a subheading again called whatever you like, but subheading is fine. And how do you use them? How do you apply them? You go through your page. So let me go to a page with a chapter. Here we go. Chapter one. I'll double click into it. There you go. I'm on chapter one and the heading style is applied. A table of contents basically goes through, InDesign goes through and checks whichever style sheet you want, where it is applied and what page number it's applied. And it then creates a list for you which you then drop on a page. So I've created a blank page here, ready. I'm gonna click on my black arrow tool, click off so nothing's highlighted. These are all set and applied. So I'll go up to the layout menu and go down to table and table of contents. Title is fine. I haven't got a style for it, but I could do, well, I could put it on a TOC style. It'll do it for me automatically, uh, which style sheets, which paragraph styles do I want to apply? Well, I just want to look at heading, but I could also put subheading in as well. And what settings do I want? Do I want a style for it? Do I want a page number? Yes, I'll do it after the entry and I'll do a tab between them. Also very useful, create PDF bookmarks. So if I export this, the table of contents become links that I can click on in the PDF to jump to the various pages and I'll do okay. Yes, because I've got an error for overset text, that's fine. And there we go. And I'll just drop it here. And here they all are. Now, this one here, through the looking glass, what Alex found there is quite long, and you can see it's kicked off. But the others work out quite well. The style sheet uh, for the paragraph style sheet for the TOC uh, is separated by tabs, and the tabs are quite nicely positioned. And all I have to do now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I go through and check the page numbers, but what it does mean is if I change anything, so we've got what Alice found there through the looking glass, which is here, it's a bit long. So let's say for example, I can delete uh, that, save it, scroll down, nothing's changed yet. Uh, click on the black arrow tool, click on the text box that has the table of contents, go up to layout and update. Yes, and there you go. Still too long, but I can adjust that. Click on the layout text box that holds the TOC and update it. And that's how you do table of contents. It all relates to the paragraph styles and where you've applied them.